In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a isometric drawing of this PVC connector right here. And we're going to draw the circles as ellipses. Remember with an isometric is that a circle looks like an ellipse like this. You see three ellipses here. First of all, we need to get our proportions. So let's use our pencil to measure proportions. Let's say this is one unit and we're going to approximate this as one unit. It's a little less. This is maybe three quarters. We'll go three quarters. And this is a half. All right, so let's get started. First of all, we have our axes here, 30 degrees. I divided these arcs into approximate thirds. Now, I'm going to choose this as my one unit, and I'm now going to draw parallel lines like this. And so what I have now is one unit, and now I'm going to draw this line here. Okay. So coming down here, this is a square that is the shape of a diamond, and this is my one unit. This vertical line here really represents this intersection right there. Now remember I said this is three quarters, so let's make this three quarters and we'll come down and over like this. Now I have my three quarters square right there. Now what I'm going to do is in here And then I'm going to draw an ellipse over here, just like that. Remember that this has to be three quarters. So what we have now is this. This is what the isometric is going to look like approximately. You see, this is an ellipse representing that. This is an ellipse representing that. Now coming off the top, this looks more like a half. So we'll come up a half a unit, and it's going to be smaller than one unit, maybe like three quarters. So let's see, how can we do that? What I have done is I have come up here one half of a unit, whereas all of these are one full units. This is a three quarters. But I said though that this diameter is about three quarters. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this square, which is a diamond, and I'm going to start subdividing it like this. So this will really be the square in which I will inscribe my ellipse. And I will call this now 
this has three quarters. So let's draw our ellipse. So what we have now is this, 3 quarters diameter, 1 diameter, 1 diameter, and now we have the basic structure of this PVC connector. So now I'm going to darken some lines and add some shading. Okay, this is my isometric drawing of this PVC connector. It has three-dimensional shape, equal scale, same scale on all three axes, but it does not have true shape. And you can see what I did is I added some shading because my light source is coming from 10 or 11 o'clock. And notice that what I also did is that at these intersections here, you have to then try to figure out how to draw those. And Okay, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video.